Uh, my name is Robert Pierce. I'm with the Automotive Service Technician uh, Program. And you graduated today? And I graduated today. In the Tell me what does today mean to you? This day is quite important to me. Uh, like I say, I wish I had my son standing beside me because that's what I, what I did this for, to have my son. Uh, him and I were going to start a business and uh, it's quite important to me and it's just like I said I wish he was right beside me doing it but unfortunately he's not and I fulfilled half my dream so that's all I can say about it. Tell me a little bit about about your, your son what happened to him and and why he decided to follow through in this. Well, well my son he uh, unfortunately he passed away in his sleep rhythm of the heart they say uh, him and I always had a dream of starting a business and uh, my son was into high performance. He liked drag racing. He had a 71 Camaro, tube chassis car. And uh, we always talked about starting a business. And unfortunately, about six months after he passed away, that opportunity probably came up that we probably got, got into, but it didn't happen. So I decided to fulfill my half of the dream and uh, went pound on doors. And it took a while and there was people that took a chance with me and uh, they seemed to be quite happy with what I've done. So. I'm pretty happy about that, and I'm hoping my son is looking down and being, hope he's proud of what I've done for him as well. So, I'm absolutely sure of it, sir. Um, you, um, you, Greg, this is your second run through SAFE. This is my second run. The first one was carpentry. I graduated in 1978, and fortunately at that time I was nominated as the top graduate of Alberta. Wow. And then you decided to go back to school. Then I decided to go back to school, and uh, it was a tough go. And especially in the fourth year, I had some. My father had passed away, and my daughter had health issues, and I had a sister-in-law that had health issues. And but I had a grin and bear, and did the best I could. And now you're you're actually working in this business, are you? Oh, I'm working in the trade. Yes, I work for Crowfoot Village Honda, and uh, I'm quite enjoying it. It's giving me a whole new release on life. So the the president uh, mentioned you today. What did she say? What did she say? Oh, well, about the journey of life. How. Uh, uh, what are you doing, Grandson? Is that <laughs> so your, that's your that's, granddaughter? That's my granddaughter. She gets impatient a little bit at times. So. That's okay. T <laughs> tell me what she said. Tell well, she didn't say anything. She just walked around. No, no, not, well, well, not well, the, the president. president. Well, what she said was about the journey of life and taking chances and not get stuck in one track. And like I say, uh, she said, uh, I, well, basically the things I said before, whereas I was top graduate in thir 31 years ago. And uh, it's a journey and uh, should always look forward to doing a journey and follow your dreams and you'll get there. Well, sir, I, I, I'm sure on behalf of Alumni in Development and I'll say we just congratulate you on a very special day. And well, thank you very much. I appreciate you, that. And thank you for telling us your story. No problem. I appreciate it. Great. So, thank you. Like I said, if I can be an inspiration to some other person that's a little bit older and figure kind of in a rut and they want to move on, they can do it. Just got to work. That's all you got to do.